Would you recommend always doing stops manually unless you have the need to leave your computer? Yes. Yes, I don't like, first of all, guys, professionals do not use stops. I, I've, I've never placed a stop in my life. Do you understand this? I've been trading in markets for 43 years. I wouldn't, if you asked me to, I wouldn't even know how to do it. Now, let me explain to you why, right? Um, it's because, first of all, most people don't understand the NASDAQ doesn't have stops because there's no specialist system. So there's no specialist that's controlling and managing the book. You understand? So the only way you have a stock is to have a specialist that is keeping the ledger of the book. And that specialist is keeping track of where stops are and so forth and so on. And that specialist's job is to help foster an efficient market in the stock. That's the old way. The NASDAQ is a newer system that is basically the market makers. There's not one specialist centralized. It's more decentralized with a variety of market makers, probably all of from different parts. They don't interact with each other very much. And they all have their self interest. They have to operate within a certain rule set, but they all have their certain interest. And this is a, a freer, more decentralized, open market. Not totally, but more than the New York Stock Exchange specialist system, right? The open cry system. So you can only have stops with a specialist. You can't have stops if there's no specialist. So stops don't exist on the NASDAQ. So some people say, well, Oliver, how can you say that? Because I trade with Robinhood and I place stocks on NAS I place my stops on NASDAQ and New York and stocks and everything. Yeah, but that's not a real stop. That is a tech, that, that's technology, that's Robinhood's technology or the liquidity provider that they pay, that pays them for the order flow. It's their technology that's basically saying, okay, when this price hits, this person wants to get out. It is a third party doing it for you. Nothing more than, than you sending an email, someone getting the email and says, okay, this dude wants to get out here. No professional is going to do that, number one. They're not going to give the right to another man who's trading against them to take their order and fill it where they fill it. Like, no one's going to do that in the professional world. I'm not giving you the ability to fill for me. I'm going to fill myself, number one. Number two, when you have size, you can't really even apply stops. You can apply stops to 200 shares, 500 shares, but what about 20,000 shares, 40,000 shares, 88,000 shares? How do you put a stop on that? You can't put a stop on size. You're going to get murdered. You understand? So professionals tend to play more size. Also, professionals are not going to give another group, another organization, the ability to execute for them when they can do it themselves. Do you understand? Now, it's different if they're paying someone to execute for them and that organization is working for them. That's a different thing. I don't want to get into that. What I'm talking about is what you're doing is you're sending an email to someone who has every incentive whatsoever to clip you for a fraction of a penny. Now, it might not matter to you very much. You might not even know you're being clipped for a fraction of a penny, but you do that a few billion times a week and that adds up. So that's tens and tens of millions of dollars every single month being raked in by you placing stops on retail-based platforms and they clipping you for a fraction of a penny on every single one. All right? So, 
are stops useful at at all? Yes. I can't say zero usefulness. But yeah, you're in a trade and your wife pulls up and says, honey, I need you to help me with the bags. And you're in a freaking trade. You're like, okay, it's not near my stop, but it could get there. Let me put a stop in and help her with the groceries. Fine. I'm good with that. You got to use the bathroom and it's not going to be quick, but you're in a trade. I'm good with that. But if you're sitting there in full control and you are placing an actual stop, to me that tells me one thing, two things. You haven't been taught that stops are not good for professionals, number one. Number two, and or you're really trying to cheat you're really trying to hide the fact that you have no discipline at all, do you? You need some other system to trade for you, don't you? You're so afraid that you will not do the right thing when you're supposed to do the right thing that you want to hand the, per the responsibility off to some system, some platform, some retail broker, you, you do it for me because I can't do it. I'm going to mess it up. That tells me that you have no ability to do the most important role of a trader, which is to not lose, to cut the loss. You can't do that. Then I don't even want you near me, dude. Do you understand? The most important act of a trader is to cut the loss. It is not to make money, by the way. Remember Warren Buffett, two rules. Don't lose money, rule number one. Rule number two, see rule number one. Didn't say anything about making money. The market makes money. You don't make money. You lose properly. So the most important act you can ever conduct as a trader is to cut the loss. And you're telling me you're handing that responsibility off to someone else. Dude, stay away from me. Stay away. Ew, ew, ew. It might rub off on me. Just don't get too close. <laughs> I make, I want all of my traders doing their own stop out. All right, you're there. Show me you can exit when you're supposed to exit. Don't put it on something else. I want to see where you are. I don't want to see where a piece of technology is. I'm going to see where you are. I want to see if you have the ability to step up and do the hard thing, to do the thing that is required of you, to do it in the face of loss, to do it in the face of a challenge, to do it anyway, to do your duty, to keep your word, to keep your promise to yourself. I will not lose more than this, this number of dollars on this trade. I want to see if you can keep your own word to yourself. I don't want to see if a piece of technology can do it. I want to see if you can do it. So you should all be practicing without stops. Unless I said it's in a moment where you have to step away, fine. But if you don't, test yourself. How are you when everything you plan doesn't go your way, that's your real self. That's the person I want to look at dead in the eyes. I don't want to look you in the eye when everything is peachy and rosy and everything is going well and the, the birds are chirping in the background and there's violins playing great music. I want to look you in the eye really close when everything you planned everything you wanted in life the only thing you ever desired doesn't happen now who are you who are you now and if a piece of technology is preventing me from seeing that i don't want you near me